my name is Suresh Babu. I am a senior research fellow uh, at IFPRI, the International Food Policy Research Institute. And I'm also responsible for strengthening capacity uh, of collaborating organizations and individuals in those organizations who can take IFPRI research into impact on the ground. Currently, I'm involved in uh, a set of evaluate, ev evaluations that look at the extension and advisory services in developing countries in terms of how they are functioning, their performance, and how the costs and the benefits are analyzed, and what impact they are making, and what are the indicators of sustainability of the extension systems themselves. We have been working in India, uh, which is a large country in South Asia, which covers you know uh, nearly 1.2 billion people. Um, and we have been doing that for the past two years. And we are starting to look at Brazil, which is, uh, again, a large emerging economy and having a lot of challenges in terms of poverty and hunger. You saw Brazilians taking to the streets um, last week, uh, particularly when the government was investing in uh, for the Olympics and the football World Cup and, and so on. And there is immediately a worry about who is going to care for the poor and poor farmers, smallholder farmers and, and so on. So we are looking at the policy reforms uh, in Brazilian agriculture with particular reference to extension reforms. What we have found in India is Indian system of extension as is pluralistic in the sense a wide range of extension providers are acting on the ground. Uh, but still, public sector uh, extension service is a dominant provider of extension. But it is, for the past 20 years, it has become dysfunctional, so to speak. What do I mean by dysfunctional? It has become dysfunctional in the sense that it is not achieving the objectives that it set out to achieve. So it's not effective. Why it is not effective? Partly because the public system is of extension is asked to do many things that are not really extension in terms of transferring knowledge, transferring technology, advising the farmers. But there is a little bit of advisory role still there, but they are more into subsidies, providing input subsidies. Um, and that has taken the extension system, system away from the core objective of enriching the farmers knowledge base. On top of that, there has not been adequate investment in terms of human capital within the extension system, which means that you don't have adequate human capacity and organizational capacity to implement the extension system and reach the objective of the system. But in the last 10 years or so, they have taken a, a different approach to extension. Okay, Leave this original system which is now focusing on subsidies alone, but come up with a system that can function as an agency for farmers to get their knowledge.